Nabalung Cat vs. Russian Blue Cat What are the differences between these two cat breeds? The International Cat Association breed standard for the Nabalung calls for them to have a modified wedge-shaped head that is more pointed than rounded, although his long hair may give the head a rounded look. Large ears are wide at the base with pointed tips, and rich, deep green eyes have a slightly oval shape and are set wide apart. Kittens may have yellowish green eyes, but by the time they are two years old, they should have developed into the vivid green of maturity. The nose pad is charcoal gray. A long, slender neck sometimes looks shorter than it actually is because of the Nabalung's dense fur. The body is what's called semi-foreign, meaning it is moderate in shape, falling somewhere between the short, compact body of breeds such as Persians and the sleek angles of Oriental breeds such as the Siamese. It is athletic but not bulky, with a medium-boned body that is well-proportioned. Russian Blue's elegant yet muscular body led one cat judge to proclaim him the Doberman Pincher of cats. He has what's called a semi-foreign body type, meaning it is moderate in shape, falling somewhere between the short, compact body of breeds such as Persians and the sleek angles of Oriental breeds such as the Siamese. The Cat Fanciers Association breed standard for the Russian Blue calls for him to have a head that is a smooth, medium-sized wedge shape with a blunt muzzle. The broad wedge of the head and its flat skull are often described as cobra-like, although that is much too dangerous a description for this sweet-natured cat. Regal is perhaps a better term. Large ears are wide at the base with pointed tips, the interior lined with thin, translucent skin, and rounded vivid green eyes are set wide apart. A long, slender neck segues into high shoulder blades and a fine-boned body that is firm and muscular, covered with a short, thick double coat with a plush texture, often described as similar to that of a seal or beaver. If you were to run your fingers through a Russian blues coat, the patterns they made would remain until they were petted smooth. The body is supported by long, fine-boned legs set on small, slightly rounded paws with pads that are a pinky lavender or mauve shade. The tail is long but in proportion to the body. The Nabalung has a reputation as a gentle, quiet cat, somewhat shy, but don't get the wrong idea. This cat may have a reserved nature, but they love to play being especially fond of retrieving and enjoy jumping or climbing to high places where they can study people and situations at their leisure before making up their mind about whether they want to get involved. Guests will not receive this cat's immediate attention and may never see them unless they decide the humans are worthy of their notice, but toward family members, especially their favored person, the Nabalung is ever loyal, following them through the house and even riding on a shoulder. The Nabalung is a sensitive cat who doesn't like to be ignored, and will be hurt if they don't receive the same amount of affection they give. Lack of attention can cause them to become anxious or fearful. While the Nabalung loves your company, they're capable of entertaining themselves during the day while you are at work. Unlike some active, intelligent breeds, they're not destructive but move through the house with the live grace of a Russian ballerina. When you are at home, their subtle sense of humor and manual dexterity will never fail to entertain. Just make sure you laugh with them, not at them. They have a strong sense of self-worth and don't like being made fun of. This is a cat who does best in a quiet, stable environment. They don't like change, and it's especially important to them that meals arrive on time. Count on them to be a faithful alarm clock in the morning not so you don't miss work, but so they don't miss a meal. If you take the time to develop a relationship with a Nabalung, your reward will be a deep bond with this loving cat. The Russian Blue has a reputation as a gentle, quiet cat, somewhat shy, but don't get the wrong idea. This cat may have a reserved nature, but he loves to play and enjoys jumping or climbing to high places where he can study people and situations at his leisure before making up his mind about whether he wants to get involved. Guests will not receive his immediate attention and may never see him unless he decides they are worthy of his notice, but toward family members, especially his favored person, he is ever loyal, following them through the house and even riding on a shoulder. The Russian Blue is a sensitive cat who doesn't like to be ignored, and will be hurt if he doesn't receive the same amount of affection he gives. Lack of attention can cause him to become anxious or fearful. While the Russian Blue loves your company, he is capable of entertaining himself during the day while you are at work. Unlike some active, intelligent breeds, he is not destructive but moves through the house with the live grace of a Russian ballerina. When you are at home, his subtle sense of humor and manual dexterity will never fail to entertain. Just make sure you laugh with him, not at him. He has a strong sense of self-worth and doesn't like being made fun of. This is a cat who does best in a quiet, stable environment. He doesn't like change, and it's especially important to him that meals arrive on time. Count on him to be a faithful alarm clock in the morning, not so you don't miss work but so he doesn't miss a meal. If you take the time to develop a relationship with a Russian Blue, your reward will be a deep bond with this loving cat. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMX Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? 
Check out vmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. The Nabelung's long, dense coat should be combed twice a week to remove dead hair and distribute skin oils. The Russian Blue's dense coat should be combed twice a week to remove dead hair and distribute skin oils. Brush the teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly teeth brushing is better than nothing. Trim the nails every couple of weeks. Wipe the corners of the eyes with a soft, damp cloth to remove any discharge. Use a separate area of the cloth for each eye so you don't run the risk of spreading any infection. Check the ears weekly. If they look dirty, wipe them out with a cotton ball or soft damp cloth moistened with a 50-50 to mixture of cider vinegar and warm water. Avoid using cotton swabs, which can damage the interior of the ear. Keep their litter box spotlessly clean. They are very particular about bathroom hygiene, and a clean litter box will help to keep their coat clean as well. It's a good idea to keep Nabelung in Russian blue as indoor-only cats to protect them from catching diseases spread by other cats, suffering attacks by dogs or coyotes, and the other dangers that face cats who go outdoors, such as being hit by a car. Nebelungs and Russian blues who go outdoors also run the risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have such a beautiful cat without paying for one. Nebelungs have a tolerant nature toward children who treat them kindly and respectfully, but they can be wary of younger children who pet them clumsily. Always supervise very young children when they want to pet the cat. Russian blues have a tolerant nature toward children who treat them kindly and respectfully. They will even put up with the clumsy pats given by toddlers as if they recognize that no harm is meant, and if necessary they will walk away or climb out of reach to escape being bonked on the head. That said, the patient and gentle Russian blue should always be protected from rough treatment, so always supervise very young children when they want to pet the cat. The Nabelung and Russian Blue are also accepting of other animals, including dogs, as long as they aren't chased or menaced by them. Introduce pets slowly and in controlled circumstances to ensure that they learn to get along together. What is important is that you try to find a cat that will interact with you if you want it to. All cats are not the same and how each individual cat behaves with you can depend on its inherent personality and early experiences, or lack of experiences, which can make it fearful or confident with people and life in general. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.